Hello, Gemini, and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy, and I am so happy that you are here with me today. Today's reading is going to be your money, career, and finance reading for the next four weeks. Please remember that this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. And if it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. Please also check out your rising sign. We're going to start with your energies and then we're going to clarify them with the tarot. I'm then going to get into your money oracles. We're going to do some fortune oracle and some spirit messages. And then we're going to end with your angel number and the message that's linked to it. So before we begin, let's cleanse the space. Beautiful. So let's start with your energies, Gemini. So we're going to find out what the energies that are surrounding you for the next four weeks, Gemini. So spirit, angels, and guides. What are those energies with regards to money, career, and finance for the next four weeks for Gemini? What can you tell us financially is in the wings for beautiful sign Gemini? Okay, so we've got peace. We've got planning and action. We've got a decrease and we've got honoring path. So interesting. Okay, so let's see at the bottom. We've got milestone. So really feeling like you're hitting a milestone. So for some of you that can be being in a place where you have been for many, many years. You know, maybe you've been in a job where you're celebrating 10, 20, 30 years of employment. Milestones, again, are events that happen in our life. So even if you've just newly started a job, there can be a milestone that, you know what, you finally reached um, your year at that job. It could be something as recent as that. Friends and colleagues are, colleagues are celebrating you and you've been feeling a little bit of back and forth energy. You've really been feeling a little bit of stagnation. So this milestone that you're reaching is really feeling like an accomplishment. And there really does seem to be some accomplishment here with that honoring path. So we've got these energies here. So we have the first one is peace. So really feeling a sense of peace and harmony in your life. Maybe you're feeling like things are starting to really balance themselves out. You've been putting a lot of things and you've really been planning a lot of things for your long-term planning. You know, you've kind of, you know, for some of you, it is, for some of you, it could be that you're planning a trip, um, but you're really taking these plans and you're ready to move forward with them. Now, a lot of people have been in the planning phase because with Mercury in retrograde for the past three weeks, so from the April 1st to the 25th, it's really been more about the time to plan, to time to really take in all information, not the time to really sign contracts or really move forward with anything. It's not a time where we take intense action. But after the 25th, when Mercury goes direct in the sign Aries, which is a very fiery and energetic uh, sign, you are going to be ready to put those plans into action. Decrease. So you've been feeling sort of a decrease. A, de a decrease can be a little bit in your finances. Maybe you've been feeling like, you know, maybe a lot of bills have been coming up. Maybe things have been coming into play. You know, your car needs to be fixed. You, your, you know, your roof needs to be replaced in your home. There could be some decreases which are, which are decreasing your income. But it's something that's going to, even though it feels like a decrease, it's going to be something that it's an investment for your future. So although it feels like it's going out, I think that things are going to start to come in but we'll get more when we get into the tarot cards and you've got this honoring path which is a beautiful energy this is really all about feeling a sense of achievement and a sense of acclaim your friends and colleagues here are celebrating with you they're celebrating some sort of milestone so you're getting recognition for something which is beautiful energy so if you've been feeling like you were on a decrease you're really going to feel this sense of achievement and the sense of accomplishment coming into play and it could be because you've had to really maybe you've had to sacrifice something so maybe you've had to sacrifice some money to invest in something but now you're really feeling a sense of accomplishment like you knew that this was the right direction you needed to go sometimes we need to stay take a, take a step backwards to really move forwards so let's get right into your tarot cards and let's find out let's find out what all of these energies mean as we move through the next four weeks gemini for career money and finance we're starting with peace let's find out feeling that beautiful sense of peace and balance okay that was the first one there we go Look at that six of wands. Like I said, you've got that honoring path. This is really all about achievement and success. That's why you're feeling this sense of peace and contentment because you have accomplished something, something that you set your mind out to do. You have now are starting to reap the benefits of it. And if you haven't seen those benefits yet, they are definitely coming into play. Um, so definitely feeling that sense of achievement. 
Everybody, I'm telling you, every single sign, all 12 signs have really been getting this Four of Cups, and that's because of the Mercury retrograde. And again, after the 25th of, of April, we're going to see that planet go direct in Aries, and we're not going to feel this sense of... Um, really feeling this sense of dissatisfaction, discontentment, really wanting to withdraw ourselves emotionally from situations because we just haven't really either had the energy or we just haven't really been feeling, you know, that energy, en uh, that energy that we normally have. So you're feeling a sense of peace, especially with this, uh, this accomplishment that's coming into play and beautiful energy, number 14, temperance. This is based on, um, this would represent a Sagittarius energy. So this is your polar opposite here, Gemini. Uh, Sagittarius are all, are, Sagittarians are all about energy and moving forward. This is all about bringing that peace and contentment into your life. It definitely reflects upon that energy of peace. Really, you know, you are um, this, this infinity sign here is all about limitless uh, opportunities, really feeling as if you're able to um, put that um, you know, you're going to put that energy of feeling, uh, not really wanting to be emotionally attached to anything at this time. You're going to put that aside. You're feeling a sense of peace with it. And you're really restoring that peace and balance and harmony into your life with a sense of victory and accomplishment. So there is definitely some sort of milestone that is definitely coming into play for you, Gemini, in these next four to six weeks. So let's find out what this planning and action is. You've been definitely making a, uh, you've been planning a strategy. And now, after the 25th, when Mercury goes direct, you're going to be ready to put this plan into action. Let's find out. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Tower. Yes. So tower is all about a sudden change. And this tower is, it makes a lot of sense because on the 23rd of April, we have the full moon in Scorpio. Scorpio represents this tower card in many, many aspects. And uh, with Scorpio, the Scorpio is a very intense and passionate energy. So you're really going to feel like you have to address some things in your life, things that you need to put closure to. You know that you need to come up with a resolution. And on the 23rd, in and around the 23rd, when we ha have that full moon, you are going to see a sudden change in your energy. Things are all going to change and it's all coming into being and you're going to feel a sense of justice. You're going to finally feel that balance restored in your life. You're going to feel as if, if there was any um, legalities and you have been waiting for something to change after the 23rd of April and when Mercury goes direct on the 25th, you are going to receive some communications that are really going to help balance everything out. You're going to feel as if karmic justice is coming into play, that things are wrongs that were things that felt were going in the wrong direction are now going to go in the right direction and things are coming out in your favor. This is beautiful energy, Gemini. Things are definitely coming out in your favor. You're going to really feel like fairness is finally starting to prevail here. So again, if it was something to do with a job, um, you know, there's sudden changes that are going to take place and you're going to feel like fairness is restored as well in the workplace. So of course, it's going to resonate differently with each of you. Let's find out what this decrease is because I feel like there's a sudden change. That sudden change that's coming is that there's no longer going to be a decrease. That decrease is, is something was temporary and oh yeah, definitely it's going by the wayside. It could have been something you had to invest in because it made sense to invest in, but now you're going to reap the benefits for it because you've got all this beautiful fairness and balance coming. You've got balance in the justice, you've got balance in the peace, and you've got balance in the temperance. Lots of that restored. Nine of Pentacles, this is all about feeling a sense of independence. So again, with this tower moment coming into play, this is all restoring your independence. You are starting to feel as if you are um, really feeling financially sound. You're really increasing your stability. Um, you, financially, you're able to afford the things that you want and you're able to put money aside so that you can plan for your future. This is all about long-term planning, but enjoying the moments as well. Indulge yourself a little bit. It's okay to degrease your funds a little bit. Make some fun and joy and bring some joy into your life because the nine of, nine of Pentacles is setting you up for success. Some of you could have taken some money out and invested it into an investment for long term. And that's why you're feeling the pinch now, but it's going to give you long term benefits. So beautiful, beautiful energy coming into play for you with the nine of pentacles. Now the honoring path, this is going to feel a sense of victory. Again, like the six of wands here, this honoring path, you know, your friends and colleagues are giving you applause. They're saying, hey, well done, beautiful energy. So let's find out anything else that spirit and angels would like to share with us about the honoring path anything else you'd like to share wow beautiful okay nice energies here you got the queen
Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is very intuitive. Um, Queen of Cups can be your energy, Gemini. Cups are more water signs, so that would be your Pisces, uh, Scorpio, or Cancer card, if that means anything to any of you. Now, the honoring path, again, is like intuitively you've been guided in the right direction. You are feeling very emotional and emotionally linked to this, this sense of honor that you're getting. So emotionally, you're feeling really loved. You're really feeling very supportive, supported. And then you got number seven, the chariot. Now, for some of you, Gemini, you could be on the cusp of cancer because queen of cups can represent cancer. And definitely the chariot number seven is a cancer card. So some of you could be actually on the cusp of cancer or your rising sign might be cancer as well. But um, the chariot is all about forward movement. It's about using your intuition. So queen of cups uses her intuition. Well, so does the chariot. That's how they guide, guide their direction. They don't have to have reins on, on, on their, this mode of transportation because this chariot is taking them in the direction because they, they intuitively know exactly what path they need to go on. Feeling a lot of strength in your ability to be able to pursue a new path and you're honoring that path again with your, uh, your intuition. You are really being guided down the road of victory here. Lots of victory coming into play for you. And you're going to reap the financial benefits. The Six of Pentacles, where you were feeling that decrease, again, now you're going to start to feel the increase. Six of Pentacles can feel like money going out and money coming in. Very similar to kind of Taurus, Taurus energy, where, you know, they really try to balance things out as well because they're all about stability. And on the 19th, that's when the sun sign enters Taurus. It leaves Aries and moves into Taurus. So this is when you are going to start to be really thinking about how to ground yourself, improving your stability, your security, and connecting to your values. But you know, if you've been feeling money has been going out, well, now it's being reciprocated and the money is starting to come in. The Six of Pentacles is working towards, again, financial gains. And you're really going really to feel like some, you're gaining some sort of, if you're gaining some sort of award, it could be a commission. It could be some sort of monetary award as well. I'm really feeling as if uh, some of you could be even for some of you I think you might be getting a new vehicle uh, or you might be getting a business vehicle maybe they've decided to change your transportation for work and they are actually going to pay for it um, that's going to be for some of you so that is amazing energies now let's get your making magic oracle let's find out what's happening here spirit angels and guides thank you so much Excellent. Excellent. Oh my goodness. Beautiful energies. And here we go. Breaking bad habits. Number seven, the tower moments coming into being, you're going to break those bad habits. Things are changing for you a whole new direction. Number seven, sevens are about reflection, self-acceptance and excellent mental health. You are on the right road to emotionally, physically, and mentally feeling really grounded. Beautiful energy for you, Gemini. Number eight, successful career, happy working environment, pay raises and promotions. That's that honoring path. That's that milestone. That's that celebration with friends and colleagues coming into play. And trink of five, beautiful. Number 26, this is also an eight. Eights are a very auspicious number for you for the next four weeks. This could have a lot to do with the, on April 8th, we had that total solar eclipse and that was the new moon in Aries. Time to, you know, really set your intentions for new beginnings. And if any of you have done that, it's definitely starting to show the signs of it paying off for you. Drink a five, 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 manifesting money and income. Okay, now that we have these beautiful energies, let's get into your career and life oracles. Let's find out spirit angels and guides for the next four weeks for money, career and finance for Gemini. Spirit angels and guides, what would you like to share with Gemini? All right, there we go. Beautiful. So you've got in the flow, the universe is sending you help. Tap into your inner power and go deeper to create the purposeful life you really want to have. You are in the flow of everything. Beautiful. So the universe is sending you help. In the sense of maybe some endings, things coming into, into play where things need to end. Cycles end so that new beginnings can begin. Restore that balance in your life. Honest work. It's okay to have a job that's not very glamorous. 
Get some experience to help you move up in the future. Success is a progress, not a quick fix. So you're doing honest work. You know, again, what you're doing is now some of you could be in trades, some of you could be um, machinists, some of you could just be, you know, I mean, again, it can apply to you all differently, but that honest work is don't feel just because it's not glamorous that it isn't something that's going to bring you a lot of success because you have that, that is definitely in the future for you. And then you also got endings, which I'm not shocked because with having the tower card and then of course on the 23rd with the Scorpio full moon coming into play, we are ending cycles that we no longer want in our life. You may, you may leave a position or be terminated. However, there's always a new opportunity ahead. You may likely, you might, you may change careers entirely. So again, things are coming into play for you. Justice is going to prevail here. There are things that are coming into play for you that are really, again, some of you really could be leaving a job. There could be a change and a whole shift in your job and you're doing something completely different that's going to bring you more money. It's actually going to bring you more resources. Okay, Gemini, let's get a little bit more in depth with this. Let's find out what's kind of happening here for, for you with regards to, you know, this endings, these endings that are coming into being. Spirit angels and guides. Tower. Now, you got tower in two different aspects, and I love this. It says solid foundation, success with effort. Something is ending to, br to really bring you a sense of a solid foundation. So that's beautiful. Eagle, triumph over troubles and obstacles. So now let's get your angel number and the message attached to it. These are slippery and they just all want to fall out. Let's try this again. Let's get your angel number. Thank you. Wow. Number 9999. Lessons learned. It's cum accumulation. Results, benefits, reflection, and completion. Again, completion, completing cycles, tower moments, endings to create new beginnings. 23rd of, of, the, of April, Scorpio full moon is when those endings are going to take place. Take stock of your accomplishments and how you arrived at them. This is a reminder to maintain optimism and drive towards your goals. Maintain your momentum and know that the powers of heaven have your back. You made it. And the reward goes to you. And the reward goes to you. Beautiful energy. 9999 nine, 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 and definitely number 8 for the next four weeks. These are your auspicious numbers. Remember, if you see any combinations of 9999, nine, 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 your angels are trying to get your attention to let you know that they're there for you. That's all I have for you today, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you found parts of this resonate with you. And if so, please leave comments. I love to read them. Also to consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. It doesn't cost anything. And I really appreciate the love and support. Until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.